Richmond Public Schools is facing a critical teacher shortage after hundreds quit last school year. The district still needs to fill 176 teacher vacancies before students return in August. 8 News reporter Ali Barefoot is live at RPS headquarters. Now, Ali, what is the school district planning to do to recruit more teachers? Yeah, Delaney, well, school board members announced at last night's meeting they're launching several recruiting activities, such as partnering with teacher residency programs at VCU and VSU and starting a teacher retention task force. Now, Superintendent Jason Cameras proposed a $10,000 incentive for new teachers at RPS. That's $6,000 to help them move and a $4,000 bonus if they fill a critical shortage area. Cameras said this money would be pulled from the federal stimulus funds. As of July, 10 schools all over the country are recruiting teachers and offering incentives. RPS said 552 out of their 2,000 teachers resigned. That's more than 25%. The district still needs to fill 176 of those spots before students return in August. Many of those vacancies are in the middle schools at 65 openings, but elementary school isn't too far behind at 63 and 48 for high school. In May, RPS offered a $3,000 bonus for teachers retention and will add another $1,000 in the fall. Cameras addressed the new retention plan and said, if I agree, we need to create incentives to keep and track experienced teachers. We are in the moment that requires extraordinary steps to meet extraordinary circumstances. That's why I am moving forward with these incentives to help close the gaps over the next few weeks. Now, if these staffing shortages are not resolved by the time school starts in August, the school board said RPS will hire substitutes, will deploy staff who are currently not in classrooms but are licensed, and ultimately shrink classroom size. For now, live at RPS headquarters, Allie Barefoot, 8 News.